Hello friends, my name is Suraj Mahmood and I'm from knowledgeidea.com and today I will uh, teach you how you can take backup and restore backup of my, your my, my school databases. Just you need to follow my steps. First, uh, firstly, I'm going to back I'm going to back end of my website. That is my website backup. Okay, so PHP, PHP might be go. Uh, just you need to go your go to your cPanel after logged in your cPanel. Just navigate to uh, PHP my admin under the section of databases. You can find this option. After go inside and it says uh, just you need to uh, follow uh, choose your target database. Under this uh, username, you can find the uh, several databases. These are uh, several databases. I'm using this one database, uh, 944 underscore cranberry. So I'm going inside this one database, and uh, after going in, go to inside this one database, you can see a lot of tables and uh, tables and fields. These all are tables. A database consists of tables and fields, and every table uh, uh, contains a lot of records. So just you need to do simply uh, go inside your database and go to export button click on export button after click on export under the uh, under, uh, up, up, uh, above main menus uh, inside the export button uh, simply choose quick display only minimal options and click on go uh, if you select custom you can take the backup of separate uh, table database uh, backup you can take the backup of uh, tables uh, like this one I select this one hold shift uh, hold control hold and uh, or otherwise you can hold shift and simply select the database but I but at this time I would just want you to uh, take my whole database backup so just uh, for this purpose so simply click on click uh, uh, display on the minimum option and uh, uh, make sure that uh, uh, this one uh, for your format should be your should be a my school uh, my school database format like this one SQL and just simply click on go after click on go is you can take this uh, you can see this I already done download uh, this one back up again because I already take this back up this one and uh, at the same time I already take this one again back up so uh, this uh, I can uh, success I, I have taken uh, successfully I have taken the successfully backup of this one website so this time I'm going to restore this one back up for this uh, restore this one backup simply say same method will be applied on this uh, one uh, database go to inside your database and after inside go to web database just simply click on import button and uh, at this time we will import uh, database and uh, click on choose and after click on choose uh, simply go to download and uh, that is my database simply click on this one database and click on go but uh, I will not click on go because if I click on go uh, I, if I click on this one button so duplicate data will be a uh, duplicate error will be occurred because uh, this data which I am going to import is already exist in the uh, current table in my current database table so if you have a blank database and want to import this one data and uh, so you can uh, click on import so but the method is same export I already told you the method of the export your database and the same the method of import these are quite simple and nothing to uh, and nothing like complicated thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe my youtube channel and uh, stay tuned thank you so much goodbye